This video will demonstrate the restorative process for making a full arch restoration on multi-unit abutments or multi-one implants. The restorative process can begin once the implants are fully integrated. Remove the comfort caps or the immediate load restoration and attach the metal impression transfers using the long multi-unit abutment screws. Create holes in the impression tray over each implant so that an open tray impression can be taken. Squirt medium body PVS around each impression transfer and then fill your tray with heavy body PVS. Fully seat the tray, being sure that the impression transfer screws are protruding through the holes in the tray. Once the material has fully set, remove the screws and take the impression out of the mouth. Now send the impression to the lab. The lab will create the master model by attaching multi-unit analogs to the multi-unit impression transfers. The screws should only be finger tight. A soft tissue model should be placed to replicate the soft tissue. Once the soft tissue model is set, then the impression should be poured in stone. The lab will provide a verification jig to confirm the accuracy of the master model. Seat the verification jig in the mouth and verify that it seats passively onto the multi-unit abutments. If it seats passively, then the model is accurate and the final restoration can be made. However, if it does not seat passively, then the jig should be sectioned to allow each piece to seat fully. Use composite or pattern resin to loot the pieces back together in this new passive position. Now take a new impression with the verification jig in place. This should be sent to the lab to allow them to modify the master cast. The lab will then send an aesthetic try-in of the restoration. Place it in the mouth and evaluate the aesthetics and the bite. Any changes that need to be made should be done at this stage. Once the try-in has been approved, send it back to the lab for final fabrication of the restoration. Seat the final restoration in the mouth and confirm again that it has a passive fit with clinical evaluation and with radiographs. Each screw should be torqued to a maximum of 15 newton centimeters. Place Teflon over each screw hole and then fill the remainder of the access opening with composite resin. 